Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a day in the life as an unemployed post-grad. I actually graduated over a month ago and I took my ASCP exam about a month ago and I'm currently in the process of applying for different hospital jobs. There are a lot that did not get back to me, but there are some that did get back to me and I am just waiting for this one particular hospital to give me a job offer. But yeah, we're just gonna see everything that I do every day. And if you can't tell, I'm actually in a new location Again, I actually moved, but I'll save that for another video and I'll give you an official tour once we actually get everything furnished. And then I'm really excited to film other videos in this place. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning. I already had breakfast. I just had a breakfast bowl from Crystal's. And then right now I'm just trying to get the next video done. I am actually still on the Epcot vlog. So you can tell that I actually uploaded this video a couple weeks ago. But if you want to check that out, I'll have that link in the description below. I'm really struggling. Like now that I'm on the and I'm literally doing nothing every single day. My motivation levels have literally just plummeted. I really gotta make these deadlines. I told myself that I'd get a video up every Sunday and I'm gonna try my best to do that. I've been doing good so far. 21 degrees and sunny It's just the way I always wanted Told by the God, the upside So I made stuffed peppers yesterday and it's cheese, corn, black beans, taco seasoning, green onions, tomatoes with chilies, and then diced bell peppers. I'm just gonna stick them in the air fryer and this is gonna be my lunch. Okay, let's look at them. Sorry my air fryer is dirty, but they look toasted up, not burned, so that's good. So these stuffed peppers are vegetarian, but I am not vegetarian. I just decided to not put meat in these. I think another recipe would have you put ground beef in it, but I wanted to try it with no meat. They're not bad, but let's see how it is on day two. Oh, and there's rice in this too. I forgot to mention that. Vegetable broth and rice. I think I actually like it better today than I did last night when I made it fresh. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of peppers. I can eat them, but this isn't bad. It's almost one o'clock and I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. I have to pick up my brother from school in about an hour and I might as well just get washed up since I'm leaving the house anyway. Okay, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. So the shampoo that I currently use is this tea tree shampoo and I've actually started using tea tree oil in my shampoos for since I think the beginning of the year. I actually started off with the Neutrogena brand but then I ran out and this was still in my cabinet so I decided to use this one. And I think I like the Neutrogena one more because this one smells really strong because both this one and the Neutrogena have like that minty, very cooling feeling effect on your head and it smells and it's so relaxing. And I've just noticed that it's so much better with my hair because I used to go to head and shoulder shampoo but i figured out that it made my hair smell like raw chicken like within the next day and i don't want people around me smelling raw chicken it's not even two o'clock yet it's only maybe 1 45 so i don't really know what i'm gonna do for the next 15 to 20 minutes because he doesn't get out of school for another 30 minutes or so so i just checked back on my epcot video that i was editing earlier and i actually did a lot so far i've already completely finished the rough cuts of all the clips that i took while we were at epcot and i'm so glad i finally finished because I've actually been editing this video since Monday. I keep taking breaks. I keep finding other things to do. So I finally finished it and I was able to sync up music and put music on all of my clips that I want music to be in there. And then I also added a couple of texts that I know that I want there already. So now all I have to do is add in transitions, sound effects, and more text and zooms if I feel that something needs to happen in the clip. I think I'm going to take a break for now and then I might either continue later tonight or finish editing tomorrow. But I think I should be able to finish this video by tomorrow so there's actually something that i want to talk about it's olivia rodrigo's new album guts it came out a week ago and i love it so much i loved her album sour but there are so many songs that i would skip on that album but guts there's only one song that i would skip i love everything else my top three songs are pretty isn't pretty love is embarrassing and all american 
I haven't bought the album yet just because I'm still waiting to see if maybe she'll release a deluxe CD and I don't want to buy the album before that comes out because then I just will be missing out on some songs. So I'm willing to wait a couple of months for a potential deluxe to come out. I've already seen the CDs in store. It's very hard for me not to pick one up and buy it. <sighs> and I also saw that she is going to be going on tour and I was highly considering registering for the pre-sale tickets for concert but after I went to the Taylor Swift concert I feel like no concert could top that anytime soon and as much as I love Olivia Rodrigo I just feel like if I went to a small concert now when I had just been to a Taylor Swift concert I would just be more disappointed than excited so I decided not to register for the tour maybe like her next album assuming it's another two years maybe whenever I'm a little older and I like still love her music then maybe I should also have more money by then I do have Olivia Rodrigo Sour CD and it's actually the alternate cover which is fine it's cute it's actually in my car right now like the CD still in my car. I was listening to it on the way here. Also, if you're wondering, the one song that I skip on her Gus album is actually logical. <laughs> Getting Back is slowly making its way up my ranking. It used to be number five on my rank of all the songs on Gut, and currently number four is Bad Idea, right? But I'm thinking of switching Bad Idea to number five and then Getting Back to number four because the more I listen to it, the more I love it. And also with her releasing the recent music video for it and her performing at the VMAs, the entire album is awesome. Awesome. We're also at my brother's school by the way, so I have to sit in this parking lot for a couple of minutes. I'm in a line with a bunch of other cars. I'll see you guys whenever I'm back home with Jonah. I got an A on his test yesterday, so we got him a new fishing rod. He also got some bait a couple of days ago too. Unfortunately, it's been raining the past couple of days, so he hasn't been able to go fishing, but he's gonna use this next time he goes. He'll probably go this weekend. I just uploaded a short and it's going up in a couple of days, but by the time you see this video, it should already be uploaded. It's the one where I went to the beach by myself. And now we gotta go study for his quiz. I'm eating my leftover bell peppers again, and it tastes even better than lunchtime and dinner last night. This is great. Also, I thought I burned a little bit in the air fryer, but I didn't. And I didn't put cheese in the air fryer with it like I normally would. I just put the cheese on it right out of the air fryer while it was still hot. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Jonah, you wanna say bye? No. Okay.